Nintendo Switch Essentials to get you started. Tara, pag-usapan natin. Maybe kabibili mo pa lang ng Switch. Or maybe sa tinagal-tagal ng panahon na nagdadalong-isip ka kung bibili ka man ng Switch or hindi, ay sa wakas na sunod din ang inaasam-asam mong gaming system na on the go. Or maybe, itong niregalo sa'yo ng lovey-dovey mo. Don't let her go and love her. Love her as much as you can. Yun ang paraan para hindi siya mawala sa'yo. Ika nga sa Pokemon ay... Pika Pika! Kidding aside, regardless of whoever gave you your Switch, or how you got your console, I wanna congratulate each and every one of you who just got their very own Nintendo Switch. Lately, I've been reading the post of Nintendo Switch group members, and I have noticed that a lot of newbie owners kept asking, what's next? Or what's the next thing to buy? Or okay bang bili nito? Wow, ano ba yan? nag na ako mag-English. Ninedusa, no? We are going to talk about Nintendo Switch Starter Pack. That's right! Aside from games, we are going to talk about 5 things that you should have if you own a Nintendo Switch. I made this video so that I could help my fellow gamers and syempre para... Nande mo eh! Basically nga, ganun. Para makatulong nga. Ah! Arigato! I did my research and asked around what is the best list of things to be included. So make sure that you watch this video until the very end. Wakatemasu! Most of the things that we're gonna talk about is very essential. But you can still choose whether uh, to get these stuffs or not. Well, it's up to you, really. Well, you're the owner, not me. Uh, I'm not gonna buy the, these stuffs for you. <laughs> Moving on, the first thing that you should get is a screen protector. Napaka-importante po nito. Dahil ito po ang paraan para maiwasan ng gas-gas sa screen, especially pag docking na po. Kasi mangyayari, pagka kunyari nagda-docking, yung pinakang plastic niya dito tumatama. Usual nakikita ko sa mga switch owners, ay dito yung gas-gas ng kanilang screen. Maraming klaseng screen protector para sa Nintendo Switch. If you want to know more about screen protectors, punta lang kayo sa nearest console gaming store and ask nyo po kung ano pong available nila. But a little warning, mostly yung mga store or sales clerk, hindi din nila alam kung anong difference ng mga screen protectors. So be prepared to get your mobile phones out to use the most reliable source of information. Google. Number two on the list is getting a micro SD card. For those of you who plays a lot and download a lot of digital games, this is a must-buy item. I mean, pwede naman kayo magtyaga sa 32GB of Switch internal memory. Ako, majority ng binibili ko ay physical because I love collecting games for my library. But just like me, I am certain that you will run out of space for your other games. Yan di kasi nangyari sa PlayStation 4 ko eh. Nawala na ko. 1 terabyte na yun ha. Kulang pa rin sa mga games ko. Uninstall tuloy ako pag tapos ko ng laruin ng isang game. Anyway, regardless of whether you like digital or physical games, you might want to consider buying a micro SD card. Maraming choices ng brands and maraming sizes na available in the market right now. And nasa sa inyo din po yung kung gaano kalaki ang need nyo or kung alin ang swak sa budget nyo. Ako, 8 gig lang po ang gamit ko. Galing pa po ito sa lumang cell na hindi ginagamit. So, no judgment on that part po. If pipiliin nyo po, ay maliit lang. Next is power banks. Alam ko some of you will agree with me na hindi siya masyadong essential. Pero in my opinion, pwede na rin i-consider lalo na pag kayo ay mahilig maglaro on the go. Or mahabang biyahe dahil sa traffic. Or nasa isang lugar ka lang madalas na hindi available ang power outlet. Pero if ever nabibili ka ng power bank, you should consult first your fellow gamers na meron ng power bank. Or search for reviews about power banks here in YouTube. Different power bank specs offer different charge speeds for your Switch. So how well each will work for you depends on your gaming habits. So please do your research first before buying that, that cheap old power bank that you saw on Shopee or Lazada. It's just a warning. Next is grips. Grips are essentials dahil malaking comfort ito sa ating kamay. Especially for those who play long hours. Maraming klase ng grips na mabibili ngayon sa market. May kasha sa dock, meron din namang hindi. 
pero mostly mabubuhutas sa bulsa mo. Pero syempre, ang kapalit naman ay super comfort at genuine pleasure for your hands. If need mo ng grip pero need mo ay swak sa iyong budget at hindi ka naman madalas mag-dock ng iyong Switch, may review po ako entitled Generic Nintendo Switch Grip. I will include the link of the video down in the description if you want to view it guys. May Joy-Con grip included din naman right out of the box. Pero alam din naman nating lahat na hindi siya kasing comfortable ng Pro-Con. Which brings us to the next item that we have on the list. Pro-Con or third-party controllers. Well, essential din naman ito if madalas ka mag-dock ng switch mo. Or if you... <coughs> I'm gonna do that again. Essential din naman ito kung madalas ka mag-dock ng switch mo or if you want to play fighting games on the switch or if you don't want to buy grips Of course, if you don't want to buy grips then ito na ang best bet mo Saan ka pa, di ba? There are a lot of pro cons or third-party controllers out there Some of which are cheaper and dapat tayo maging mapanuri Dahil ang switch ay maselan sa third-party accessories Once na magbigay na naman ng bagong patch si Nintendo baka hindi na gumana ang controller mo. So, ingat din ang pagbuy sa ganito. Basically, buying a Pro Count is the most comfortable option that you can have while playing your Switch in dock mode. Kaya nga tayo bumili ng on-the-go na, ano eh, na console eh. Dahil naranasan natin mga magagandang klaseng controller, di ba? And there you have it. All the things that you need to get started on your Nintendo Switch. Well, I will say it again. You really don't need these stuffs right away, except for the screen protector. Other than that, na say niyon if you wish to purchase the stuffs that I mentioned. And again, if you do decide on getting accessories, please do your thorough research first. Dal para sa inyo rin po ito para din po to sa inyong Nintendo Switch. If you think that I forgot to include other things in this list, please tell me all about it, and I would love to hear from you. Before we end, I just want to state that this is based on my research and my personal opinion. I would like to thank Ati Juvie and her staff at Gameline Dasmariñas. Thank you for your continued support. Salamat, salamat, salamat. Much appreciation po. And I want to thank all the Facebook groups that let me post my videos on their wall. And of course, all of you guys for your continued support. Because I'm nothing without you guys. Anybody with any opinion, let's talk about this down in the comment section. I'll be there talking to you guys, answering any questions that you want. Clicking the like button really does help us. And subscribing if you're new is a good idea because we put up videos like this all the time. But as always, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye! Yeah!